to the angel of the church in Philadelphia. These are the words of the one who is holy and true, who holds the key of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door, which no one can shut, for you have a little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. What he tears down cannot be rebuilt. The man he imprisons cannot be released. I will place on his shoulders the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. Two, 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 two. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Write on a scroll what you see and send it to the seven churches. The living one, I was dead and behold now I am alive forever and ever and I hold the keys of death and Hades, Hades to the angel of the church in Laodicea. Write, these are the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the originator of God's creation, the, the originator of it. So this is the Philadelphia landscape, the literal playing out of Philadelphia. I think you have a little bit of strength because the serpent's coming. The dragon, the serpent, the, the devil. Then the ark of Noah was laying on top of the bodies of the Nephilim. And I think that that's really what this represents, which also might completely blow away all the ideas people have ever had of the location of that mountain itself. So I just thought I'd throw that in there with you, just kind of a little side note there. Uh, I didn't do the video yet for Patreon, the only spot in Philly that's a like a mountainous type of a area is behind. I went down there, climbed up all around there. Get a better view from up there. Pleasure from that house there because that's at the top of the hill. Basically, that's the, the view. That looks like a serpent inside of a serpent. Tongue. With the other one, the other serpent. In front of it, wearing the king's crown. Because that would represent Adam and Eve, is how I'm seeing it, the two different ones. According to this landscape prophecy, Fulfillment expectations that they have because I've been in study with this all day. So uh, if you would give me till tomorrow or something or, or so. This is January 10th and today is the 11th, January 11th, 2022, 6.50 p.m. I wanted to get back 
to to Steve on this. That's why in Genesis one one, it's the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. On January 9th, twenty twenty two, and January tenth, twenty twenty two. Uh I'm actually holding the Apocrypha of Genesis. Uh, really, we shouldn't even call this the Apocrypha. And why they do that is beyond me. This is from Cave 1Q20, uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls. This is the real book of Genesis. And, uh, and sadly, I wish this was what we had as part of our own canon because this is what the Jewish people were reading, this is what Jesus was reading 2,000 years ago. He wasn't reading Elohim et HaShemayim et HaAretz. You know, okay, he wasn't reading in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. He was reading over here. And, you know, I'm going to be sharing some things with you because what's going on right now? There we are. There's a way of guiding, guiding a, a spirit. If it's, if it's going sort of off track, there's a way to guide it straight. <clears throat> Sometimes it's like this. Ah, that didn't stick. Ah, right, that stuck. Wait. Ah, that didn't stick. And then there's a way of a, a, a constructive criticism or a or a guidance in the right direction. I've been very very deep study today uh, with the request to help with the government on ancient documents and certain. You know, I've been tasked with certain things. Uh, to see if they're in the documents, etc. And uh, so I can't really go into that as of right now. But in my search, I have run across some beautiful, beautiful things. That have and, and so you would have to know, like when you're searching the matter out, it, there's, a, there's a trail that you can follow in order to try to get information from the ancient documents to fulfill scripture as in like the dead sea scrolls where there's there's portions missing because i feel like they're missing not purposely like it wasn't uh recorded or something it's missing because it wasn't fulfilled and there's a writer that's that sits sits back and does a lot of writing and researching in order to fulfill books and then bring them all in the same place and then present the the evidence and then they and then that's like the part where that would fulfill the portion where they'll take the whole the skirt of a Jewish man and say that I heard that God was with you so the spirit was with that specific person and it's also with Christ being a, a Jew inwardly, whether the nationality is or isn't, the inward Jew of being the first among many. Me away, and one of those is actually I ran across it in the Genesis of Qumran, and believe it or not, it's in column thirteen. It's going to be talking. They translated, I continued watching until the swarming creatures of all the earth, swarming creatures of the water, were brought to an end. It's talking about the flood, but boy, when you read this and you know what the actual word is right there, shots, oh my gosh, it'll blow you away. Before I do that, though, I want to kind of share some of my favorite things about the book of Genesis and um, in uh, from the Qumran cave there. And this is going into column 20 
uh, where Abraham is describing his wife. Uh, there's another one I want to share with you as well. And I just shared this with my wife. I said, honey, come here, look. Here's what you have two sides of your thoughts in your head. One is what your ex-boyfriend told you years ago uh, as he was bad on his demons, and he transferred all of them to you as he degraded every part of your body. Let me tell you what the truth is, and Steve will give you a, a, a better message. And remember this side of the voice, because this is the truth about you. What you perceive about yourself is a lie that you keep believing. And so when you hear the other side of the, the spectrum of the perception of what you are believed to look like in your spirit as you're being tormented is the one, here's the other. I thought you might find this as a blessing as well. Of her face is radiating <clears throat> beauty. Let me, let me back all the way up as far as I can. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll just basically give you the translation. I'm not going to try to put you through the Hebrew part of this. Uh, how splendid and beautiful is the image of her face, and how lovely her forehead, and soft the hair of her head. How graceful are her eyes, and how attractive her nose and every blossom. Of her face is radiating beauty. How grateful are her breasts, and how beautiful uh, her all white complexion. And as for her arms, how beautiful they are in her hands, how perfect they are. Every view of her hands is stimulating how graceful are her palms and how long and thin all her fingers of her hands, her feet, how hands, her feet, how beautiful, how perfectly shaped are her legs, there is not a virgin or bride who enters the bridal chamber more beautiful than she. And her beauty surpasses that of all women. And with her beauty, she soars above them all. And alongside all this beauty, she possesses great wisdom. And her handiwork is excellent. Now, when the king... So it's just, it's just planting a seed, in my wife said, to eliminate the the ghost i heard two people say it jacob israel first like just give up the ghost already that the you know the spirit the tormenting spirit and and then kim was saying it about his voice but uh there's always something different meaning to that when your voice isn't normal but it's planting the seed to try to eliminate the prior demons that were injected into somebody's head that they they'll constantly repeat it to themselves instead of giving up the ghost which is anything any care i i interpret it as any care that starts to torment you in your head that drifts you off with a negative vibe uh Anytime like that, something just pops in my head. I'll just either, either say it out loud or in my head. Give up the ghost. Just give up the ghost. So let's say... Again, I don't... No matter who people are, no matter, no matter what my perception is of everybody I've come across and all the major channels of YouTube that I show. That's what I've been doing for quite some time, and it's got me this far, showing people themselves about what they're saying, who they're saying it to, and what do they mean by it. So, there's a spirit out there that, that doesn't want you to communicate with demons, because they say it's... it's uh, like, it's dangerous to do that. I say, yeah, it can be dangerous. However, if there's something somebody says, and let's just say they're a demon, and let's just say that they're part of the Antichrist system, 
but they help you get out of your head? I mean, they may even have attacked you in the past, but something that they said resonates with your spirit, and it clicks at that moment because it's time for that to click, along with a consistent communication connection between amongst the church the people that have ears to hear and eyes to see it's a church it's a it's a spiritual church that's being built on that rock and so if if, if an antichrist himself says something that gets you to start thinking and it helps you mentally then those that say stay away from all those other doctrines, well, you have to just stick with your, your mindset. Don't let it be altered unless if it's, you know, even if it's from a demon himself, if it's altered, if, I mean, if it alters your way of thinking in a negative way, then, you know, you tend not to listen to it. But yeah, I've been brainwashed by going into YouTube platform voluntarily not knowing anybody because I didn't understand if that's what was going on. Then I understood. Then I met Stephen James and Sean. And then after time, the one time he said something about being you're your own worst enemy, Rab. And, and, uh, and I thought for that moment, like, you know what? You're right. I am. Because it, it literally is just me. I'm, I mean, at the beginning of the day, whatever happened yesterday, Every thought that went on in that day was just me and my thoughts. And whether I was tormenting myself with anger or irritation at other people, I can't believe they would do that. To realizing that I'm literally fighting myself. And then that was the beginning of me turning away from... And then, and then I realized, wow, this enemy's strong because I thought I kicked it and then I rewatched another video and I, I feel like slapping myself for what I'm saying in the video because... I'm irritating. And then it would keep happening. I do things or say things that if I just slowed down and relaxed a bit and stopped thinking I need to be in such a hurry and constantly talk with no interruptions, I need to slow down a bit. That way there's no pressure. There's no hurry, 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 because that's what Satan does to you. And then I heard Jacob Israel a little little while ago, maybe a few weeks, talking about giving up the ghost. And then that made more sense, too, because you know how the Bible is interpreted every which way. It can be the exact opposite of the meaning, but it could also be fulfilled both ways because the negative and the positive side is being fulfilled in, in its interpretation. So every single time I read, there's always the exact opposite interpretation because that's played out from the other side. And then there's that middle ground. And to me, it seems like there's going to be a manifestation on Earth, on this Earth here, the actual planet itself, manifestation between the, the, the Spirit of Christ that rises up into a person, and then that person delivers it to others. But behind the scenes there's already characters played out to be a certain person. For instance, uh, 1 Peter, 2 Peter. I feel like 1 Peter is who is perceived to be Christ now. Kind of like a Barabbas figure, per se. And then, again, just speculation. I'm going to throw this against the wall. Hey, if anybody out there on YouTube can relay this if I'm on the right track. Of course, it's going to have to be somebody that knows the Bible inside and out and and uh, has a desire to either correct what I'm saying, help me, guide guide me in the right direction, or if I'm on that point that, yeah, it makes, uh, yeah, you're right. And, and there's like a check, because that would be a check mark. But my theory was 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 Peter and 2 Peter. 
The first Peter is the one that's with Christ. And then the second Peter was the one who was Christ. So the first Peter is like the Barabbas type at now. And there was already a, a Christ figure that was to be played out in this world behind the scenes. And there was a there was a first Peter for that Christ. So like if there was a Christ figure that was played out, then there would be another person that would be like the like the first Remember, Peter. Remember uh, four hundred clothing, right? Four hundred means pray, food supply, and then and then there would be a second Peter connected. But the second Peter steps into the fulfillment of actual Christ. So he's the second Peter becomes the one with the actual Christ, and then the first Peter and Christ were the ones played out. So the second it's like everybody that's that has a role to play, the person before you and the person above you is very similar to you. That way each three and a half years or so, this one moves up to the next step and then that one moves up. That's like two different Peters being played out. The The first is usually like what's being played out and then the second is the reality of it. Interesting. The word courses here, misila is the root of that word right there, is like a, a stairway, a highway, a path right? Staircase. You remember when Jacob, when he goes to Jerusalem and he makes his pillow there, and then he says he sees this ladder coming down from heaven and the angels are ascending and descending off of the ladder? Wow. Yeah. That's where the, that's what the stars in their courses. So we go back over here to the Hebrew language of it. And by the way, Nilachamu, uh, I do stand corrected on the way they do. Fountains. July 8th, 2020. October 21st, 2020. I showed my son this yesterday. And then I went to Barack Obama and showed him that. showed him this and Barack saying at the same exact time because I know it takes time to register Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among. And he said, yeah, that's kind of, that's pretty crazy that Barack said that at the exact same time. And because I showed him both situations where the water was never running all year. And I got there and a minute and a half later, it turned on. And then as I told him who I went to go see, and he's the one that needed to show me something at that time so I'm just telling them yeah apparently I'm communicating with AI uh, slash Satan the spirit that uh, runs the airwaves and and it was quite a and I explained to him why I was there Harold Camping's world because he knows all about May 21st and October 21st he helped us hand out some of the letters back in 2011 warning people about God's judgment reluctantly but I didn't force them to sometimes they, they felt good doing it but I showed them that and 
and all the connections with Barack Obama, what he said about the holy place and about rivers raging, the rivers raging. Among the nations will be exalted a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river, the stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is I'm in here. the midst of her. The camping's world. She shall not be world. moved. What are you showing? God shall help her. See the holy place? Just at the Be break yourself. of dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. According to the script, this is this is the only name on there. Jonathan Click. So when I say there's a Christ and a Peter, there's a first Peter. So then the one playing Christ would be like the the first Peter. He's Christ, but he's really like the first Peter. And then Christ, the one played out, becomes the second Peter towards the actual Christ. So it's like a flipping on one on top of the other in order for in order to fulfill it. The three point one four. That's like three point to one. 3.21, like three, three of them point to one. So 3.21, three points to one, four, 3.1 makes it four. Three of them point to one, and then it becomes four. And by the way, Neil is sending off of the ladder, goes to Jerusalem, and he makes his pillow there, and then is like, a stairway, a highway, a path, right? Staircase. You remember when Jacob, when he goes to Jerusalem and he makes his pillow there, and then he says he sees this ladder coming down from heaven and the angels are ascending and descending off of the ladder? Wow. Yeah. That's hey, where the, that's what the hey, stars in their some. course is. So we go back over here to the Hebrew language of it. Here's what I had collect to. Because he... He had the, um, I, I mean, ironically enough, the water shut down at that time. So, and that same exact day, Barack Obama came to Philly. And I was expecting a bombing, but nothing, no bombing except for the water stopped. And then it rose back up again. And then considering who was in the title and who I was talking about while I was there, he needed to show me something. And I was telling my kids, I said, you know, I can, I can respect that somebody can have that authority that literally runs the planet because it's their backyard. And every, all the literature that's ever been written, think about this, we're ants inside of a pit and down in the concave area. And we have no say in anything. And if, and the, the way that you're, completely surveilled 24 7 if you really were like one person that was had this bible and and uh and then you went to a print and press and you secretly had them print it for you <laughs> nothing secretly done so the point is the elite the ones the apostles the 12 the it's like everybody's from the inside so they're writing the Bible. Now, are they writing it and playing it out? 
yeah. Did it actually already take place? Is, did all that take place? Well, no, not all of it. But what's fulfilled and what isn't? And what is what? And when you're crucified, will you, you got to die again the second time? Or when you see Christ rising, that's when you know because that's the second coming because you already killed him. He already died and rose again. The only thing we're waiting for is to, to recognize that and distribute it all throughout the planet of those that'll, that'll hear, have eyes to see and ears to hear. That spirit rises up in individual people and they change their ways. They go from being evil to being good and they know the difference. Because they have partaken in the knowledge, so they would know the difference. And by the way, uh, I do stand corrected on the way they translated that, because lech does mean to go. Uh, but So I was kind of translating that a little different in my opinion. But I, as I looked how over dare, there in the Bible... How dare you try to interpret something with your opinion? Biblical part of it, yeah, I can understand where they why they translated it the other way. So they fought, all right. So in this case here, from heaven they fought. Uh, you could try to get away with they came from heaven, okay. The stars, that's plural, and who are the stars? The kings came, they fought, then fought the kings of Canaan. So it appears to be that the kings, in this case here. That are the kings of, whether they be of Canaan. So it appears to be that the kings, in this case here, that are the kings of, whether they be of Canaan, whether they be the kings of, uh, of Megiddo, uh, or she that was by the waterways of Megiddo, the kings. Because on this day, On October 21st, 2020, the day before, which was the 20th. And I was like, 20th. Are you kidding? And I put them together and I'm like, oh my God, it's the same rock. You stood there in a what? A riverbed? And, and so I stood there in a riverbed and I was like, what are you kidding? So a riverbed, that was a riverbed that same day. Kind of like needed something to show me. Needed to show me something. You see the water is there. And then you see it's down to 848. And on top of all of that, this is where he like was just giving you a little teaser. Hours. It's a big V. I'm just getting started. I'm just giving you a little teaser right now. So just getting started on that actual day. Just getting started on 10, 20, 2020. If you're just getting started and there's a testing period and if you go with like a literal 70 weeks of Daniel, then it's bringing you to the two, 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 two. two. And tomorrow, well, tomorrow is the 12th of January and tomorrow would be joy uh, for uh, Kim April 8th 2009 I'm pretty sure it's this 666 weeks since he started yep takes you to tomorrow Wednesday the 12th 2022 so if some kind of major thing happened or whatever in the news, like a pro, like a really prolonged second 9-11 or something like that in Philly or something drastic, then that would be what's quite a coincidence of that, the amount of weeks 
since beginning to, to that day. So a ladder. The collection's just getting started. A little what? It's like a... It reminds me of like a Moses and a... Striking the... The, the rock. Or however that happened. Like water came out of nowhere. And Aaron... And it's like a, it's like a, a, a communication where there's, there is a ladder here at that exact spot that the water just keeps doing something weird as I walk by it, waiting for something else. But this meaning like this is the up and down, you can ascend and descend on this video itself and say, all right, well, for those on the inside, somebody's in charge of of uh, AI being able to flick a switch, right? There's people that are in charge. They can do that. I don't know how many people know who can do it, but when there's a when there's a obvious communication between someone like myself, who was just me from the outside, never knew any of you before four and a half years ago to communicating somehow some way not knowing exactly i'm looking at a bombing and and the water does something special one time it sprouts up out of nowhere out of the dry desert ground on 7 8 2020 and then the next time on october 21st 2020 the water stops at 8 48 and there is a ladder here and it's like jacob on this side because Liberty 1, Liberty 2, Jacob's on this side. Because on this side is the side of the nation of Israel, right there. So that's Israel, and then you too. Ark, Angel, Archon. And then the Esau side. So there's Jacob and Esau. So who would Jacob and Esau be? Well, wouldn't that be Inky and Enlil? I don't know for certain, but I've never heard of Inky or Enlil before YouTube. So where, where are the characters at? I try to find them. Because in this 888 system, that, that 8, this 8, and then Penn Center building 8, where there's a like a red canopy, this building being another 8, so... What does that mean with all these eights? I showed you what it means in Gematria, and I showed you why I was there. Why I was here at that spot. Also, holy double eight. You get three thumbs up from the three... The three swan creatures. The terrorist strike that never took place. Probably never won't because it doesn't have to now. And yeah, I'm 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 okay with that, Justin. I'm okay with being the one that gave all those predictions and nothing ever happened. But you're seeing what did happen, right? You are seeing, for the people that are on the inside, you know that I want to get a song stuck in it. No, you're not. You understand the symbolism quite well. You have eyes to see. You understand there's just some kind of symbolism here that took place, even on a failed prediction. <clears throat> Look, I even put it in the title, Another Failed Prediction. But what happened on that day? Oh, rivers of water sh sprouted up out of nowhere for the first time all year. All year long. 
during the, the pandemic when everything was shutting down. Everything was shutting down about this time. And so when you talk about ascending and descending, it's not always positive. Depression. Those sorts of things. But in a sense. And you know, there's nothing here that should surprise us in any way. That when there is doubt that, that is in your heart or unbelief in your heart, it's going to have an impact on your emotional stability. And it's just, it just kind of stands to reason. Um, I got a note just yesterday from a gal in the UK who was pretty upset. I could tell from her note that there, she found a YouTube channel that was taking little snippets of videos and putting them together from Christians mostly and getting them to say things that they didn't mean to say and actually getting them to say things that were wrong. And she said, even blasphemous, I didn't go there. But she said, you need to check out this YouTube thing because they've actually used some of your videos to put together these, you know, things or whatever. So that was referring to this video, I believe specifically and directly. But, you know, it's just me thinking people are talking back to this channel for why would they waste their time doing that? Well, I am using a snippet of a video in the flesh. Therefore, I when am John was writing you, what he did, body, a body, a human body, it was a more by the Spirit of God. And they claimed to say something like, Jesus didn't come in the flesh. He's saying that is not the Spirit of God speaking through that person. That is, in fact, the spirit of Antichrist. So from what, what, from what I've learned and over time, you are not to listen, uh, is movement says everything. Although there's zero evidence of it, but movement says everything, intention, and that's the way of communication. So to me, that that qualifies for the ascending and descending on a ladder in a physical manifestation of something that you can take a look at and say, well, yeah, that's pretty interesting, but it's so what? AI turned it off. Or he knew he knew it was going to go on at that time. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what it is. So that can be used to to descend, and then reciprocating back and forth would be the 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 up and down, where you can go up, you can go down, you can request, you can talk, you can say this, you can say that, and then before that, I did a video about. I uh, believe about Derek mainly and Cleck, yeah. Yep. Just and considering considering Barack Obama came to Philly on the exact same day that Jonathan Cleck told me he needed to show me something at eight forty eight AM go to Harold Camps where he told he showed me that the water stopped at that exact time, which is the same exact time that Barack Obama was reading about him being God and staying still on the same exact day. So I would connect the characters that are being played out. Jonathan Click is connected to the Antichrist because that would be that would be what's played out. But when you got the false prophet, the beast, the false prophet, the Antichrist, it's like when you call somebody a false prophet and they were a false prophet, played out, but then they become an actual prophet. And then when you're calling them a false prophet, still it's because of it's because you're judging someone from what they used to be. You're not seeing that they turned away and they're sinning no more, like Mary. Turn, which one of you have not uh, committed the acts with her? So what you're doing is you're not believing that that would be the type of person that would change. So you still call them a a liar or a false prophet, but the Antichrist connection. So what happened was, after this video, uh, on the 8th, 
talking about it. it like this look if if you feel forced to do it so on the minds mind and then um there's george bush there's barack obama there's george bush and there's donald trump if anybody reminded me of donald trump i don't think click click doesn't kind of remind me of a, a donald trump but i'm not you know picking sides or anything i think if anything else derek would represent it more if you were to hang if you were to see if, if you were to went somewhere as an event and there's barack obama derek bros and donald trump i would think that derek would be would it would, it would tend to go more over to hang out with um with donald trump and talk about things and if john if and if jonathan clegg was there clegg would be over there with barack obama hanging out with him because there's like there would be like more more in common and knowing that Kane is a man in a mask from the beginning do you get it we're all wearing masks <laughs> there's the admission that's the greatest mind boggler and you know what i was pretty convinced for a long time that that was the case and today january 11 2022 was an admission and the reason one of the reasons is because you can hop into all kinds of masks and if i can still recognize your spirit behind another entire face completely like kim that does that then that proves that I can I can connect with your spirit. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, hair of a man, face, whatever, lion teeth. It's the spirit inside. Can you discern the spirits that are still trying to play games? The ones that are bitter, like kind of angry towards you, maybe because their kingdom's coming to an end. And and but you don't. It's like take the plank out of your eye before you help take the speck out of the eye of the kingdom that's fallen because they're raising the next kingdom on top of the line of tribe as if they're crushing it would be one perception but the true the true flip side would be you're building a kingdom on top of the line of the tribe of judah and you're putting that that plank on top of him because he's going to carry it so you don't don't like point fingers and ha 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 because this kingdom over there has ran its course and the next kingdom's taken over it's just that's what it is and but you have to be able to discern the spirits the correct spirits and then the other ones would be there's still like a bitter type to it but there's also I think maybe the next phase is for me is to hear more about more of the details of the Bible and the characters being played out. But the only thing that I, I'll be not trusting because who's to say I'm supposed to is people's timeline. And when are they trying to get you to believe that this is the beginning of something that's the end of regardless, I just have to be patient and endure to the end. But I would love to know the timing of it. I really would of the end of it when relief when relief starts to happen. To know the actual timing of the change that people behind the scenes have written out and they know the end of it. And it's so easy for people to tell you how to live your life when you've always had to pay bills and just kind of get by and not really live life the way you would like to but you know work 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 and you got to work and work and work for it well i'm doing the work up here so that's what pays off my work follows me and because satan created the uh the virus and and has it everybody the way they are laws have been being broken and um and that's the payoff so i see that as the prime golden opportunity when they were trying to force this on people. Now, I think they're going to start doing the, this too and forcing that. And when they finally force it to the point where you can't go in 
to a certain place, file a complaint. File the complaint with the human resources development or corporation. They'll get back to you. It may take two years, but you know what? You'll get compensated for it in the end because it cannot make you do anything. You choose to do it on your own. Everybody's wearing a cloak. Lucifer is the anointed cherub that covereth the canopy. Even says to interbraid into a, a canopy. That's our body, guys. So now watch. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Let's watch. Here we go. Let me get this out of the way. All right. Here we go. Now, was that him behind the mask? See the tail out the back? Man, so that's a man in a mask. Or is that a man with the surgery done? Or is that the trick? It's just men or little boys in general, smaller people that change into women and they put this full body suit on you can't tell what about when they go and zip up their suit there he's hanging on the devil's tail to say that to my face, man. Well, Ray, right now. Run, 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 run. Now, Scooby-Doo, your mom eats cat poop. Whoa. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> you want some? You want a little piece of the shag shirt? Ray. Feel the pain. Okay. <laughs> Come on, two shots. Two shots, me and you, me and you again. Come on, baby, stop right now, buddy. <laughs> save him. You stay here. I'll be right back. No, Shaggy. I mean, it's too dangerous. I've got to. He's like my best pal. <laughs> Friends don't quit. Let me ask you. Hey, so... Uh, y'all know who Puddles the Clown is? Have you ever seen Puddles the Clown do? Uh... Hey, I don't know. I don't want to be dogmatic about things, but I think it's you. I think Puddles the Clown may be you. I don't know how you were invited. Really 
good singer. They chose the son of the devil. No wonder why Jesus said about them, you vipers, you serpents, see, snakes in the grass, in other words. I'll show you that right here in the Hebrew. In the Hebrew, so it's a little bit more blunt in the Hebrew Matthew than what we have um, over in the, uh, and it's in Matthew 23, so just give me a second here, I'll see if I can back up and find it for you real quick. Uh, so a Hebrew Matthew is another language, a more blunt, seems to be, more unfiltered because let's say you're just you don't have any secret knowledge information and what you learn you have the right to speak your mind if you don't mind being gang stalked and harassed by the entire planetary system behind the scenes and if you can endure that if you can be surveilled and gang stalked by the top luciferian here in the united states and still live to tell the story, then guess what? It's only a story from the dragon, fiery dragon. Even the eye slits down there. What you have in the King James Version what do you sages and Pharisees, hypocrites, who are a little further down than now? Here we go. Right? This took water, washed his hands before the people, and said, I am innocent of the blood. Be careful what you do. All the people answered and said, His blood be upon us and upon our seed. Then he released Barabbas to them and delivered to them Jesus for beating and affliction that they might hang him. By the way, let me just mention one thing about Barabbas. I know that Jonathan Khan went around doing a message about this, saying that Barabbas is means son of the father. And it is, it's Aramaic. Instead of saying uh, Ben Abba in Hebrew, which would be son, son of the father, they say Bar Abba or Bar Abbas, which is son of the father in Aramaic. And so, Jonathan Kahn was trying to make, kind of taking up with the Jewish people saying, well, they were just calling for the son of the father. And what was wrong with that? No, see, here's where the, here's where you get it mixed up. And maybe if you know Jonathan Kahn, you might be able to share this with him. Just share it with him in love. I don't... Jonathan Kahn, Barabbas, uh, Paul. Paul was the, considered the fake apostle, right? People didn't believe him for what he, what he taught. He was basically, the way it seems is he was just in place of Christ. So when you go back to Barabbas, being it being released, but truly they, they kept Christ and they released Barabbas as their Jesus. They, 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 those the ones that kept Christ and they released Barabbas. But Barabbas, so I'm looking at Paul and Barabbas. How, how do they connect together? And Saul, because Christ, the Spirit was coming after Saul. Saul, why are you persecuting me? And Saul turns into Paul of Tarsus, Saul and Paul. But it seems like so they crucified Christ. They picked Barabbas. He got released, a murderer. And, well, Paul was a murderer from the beginning. This is a this is murder of the, the system itself inside. It's dead sheep. So Paul was a murderer. Barabbas was a murderer. Satan was a murderer from the beginning. And... And then, and then the spirit of Christ haunted Paul. It haunted Saul. It haunted Barabbas. It, 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 it haunted Judas. It haunts anybody that goes against the will of God. But the will of God is for you to learn quicker so you don't have to go through the suffering. And then, so vice versa, those that are, that are God's will make you suffer for making them suffer. 
So you make the gods suffer spiritually first, and then they find you with their affliction, and then they make you suffer in real life because they have the ability to do that from above. And that's what's been taking place here, it seems. So because they released Barabbas, it's like the Spirit of Christ, after he rose back up from the dead, went and found Barabbas, went and found uh, uh, Saul, and was asking him personally, why are you persecuting me? And then when he was on the road to Damascus, on the road to demask us, Has the, the ripple effect. And then one click was showing you this, turn it upside down, his forehead is a mask. Two, two, two. 20, 22. Is it when it says in Hebrews there remains no more sacrifice for sin? Now, we did talk about this on this message, uh, but I'm going to talk to you about the crown of thorns that Jesus was placed on his head. Now, I've done this before. I you either had the crown of thorns put on your head because that was the script, or you've done that before, part of it. I have talked about the crown of thorns before in light of the fact of a type where when God met Moses at the burning bush, uh, he was at the eighth Sinai, which is a thorn bush. And then at the eighth Sinai and the eighth. Eighth. That thorn bush was on fire, and from the midst of the thorn bush, God Himself was speaking to Moses, uh, giving him uh, the direction to go and deliver the children of Israel from the land of Egypt, right? And I said, what was it? Christ was in the midst of the thorn bush uh, when they put that crown of thorns on his head, speaking in an unknown Egypt. language uh, as he prayed and said, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? All right. But there are so many more beautiful analogies. And I wanted to share another one with you that the Lord showed me. And I have to say this for the sake of my Jewish Eve. friends yeah around the world that do not know Jesus Christ, if you don't know him, if you've never, if you've questioned whether or not he is truly the Messiah, if he was truly the one that we should have looked for or not, well, I'm about to share something with you regarding the crown of thorns that was placed on his head that your forefathers did that clearly, clearly, was a prophecy being fulfilled that was given to you by Joshua, by Moses, and yet we should have recognized Jesus to be the Messiah by nothing else than the fact that we put a crown of thorn upon his head. That should have settled it right there. So I'm really looking All forward, right, by the way, too, to okay, iConnect, FX, getting the beta test running on. When you put a crown of thorns around someone's head, you're... Your um, whether the people understood what they were doing or not, the ones doing it uh, for the ones telling them to do it, did I don't believe they understood what they were doing. But they were basically, it's like you're showing that that's Christ over there just by you doing that to him, and then you and then your partner 
and then the other organization, and then that organization. And then when all the organizations collaborate together, trying to imprison Christ and put that, keep that crown of thorns around his head, the others that would be watching are the, like the watchers. All that's doing to them is proving to them their case more and more and more in order to fulfill Scripture. But you got to use the Word of God to fulfill Scripture. If the Word of God manifests, then you can use it and, and then do check marks on different Scriptures. We actually had to join in by Zoom. So when, when Steve said he did this before, Zoom there with the conference there that uh, Dr. Knight did there in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, or just outside of Chattanooga where, they, where, they, where those guys live there, and uh, I was sharing a resurrection message about the Lord Jesus Christ. And I got into this message right here, the real Passover lamb. As well as uh, the information uh, I wanted to share with you now. So, so let's say this already happened according to the script. Back in 2018-ish, right there. And and they they already had a Christ that was crucified. The crown of thorns was over his head, as Joshua the the Old Testament. I feel like the Joshua in the Old Testament would be considered the 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 Jesus. But then and then go fast forward to the New Testament. Joshua becomes like Peter or, or like second Peter and then first Peter becomes like the first Peter would become Christ in the second they would just like flip roles and everybody's on the inside everybody I'm talking about is from the inside nobody's from the outside that I'm talking about everybody is from the end they're all in on it Playing it out and they know the beginning to the end but some don't so therefore they they're looking for that literal killing like oh yeah you think you're Jesus well we're gonna kill you and eat you because you told us to eat your flesh and drink your blood didn't you Jesus yeah he told his disciples to do that do you think he gave him his his right arm like here let me just let's just go right into it. I don't want to waste much time, but take what I'm going to share with you now and take this message here. Last year. And I've got to actually do this message even deeper because blasphemy is something I really hit on and I hit on it today at uh, Dr. Knight's broadcast there. Uh, I don't know if I went into it on this message or not as deep, but listen. Hebrews really lays it in there. What I really hit on, and I blasphemy is something. Note just yesterday from a gal in the UK who was pretty upset. I could tell from her note that there she found a YouTube channel that was taking little snippets of videos and putting them together from Christians mostly and getting them to say things that they didn't mean to say and actually getting. They didn't mean to say. Well, they said it them to say things that were wrong and she said even blasphemous i didn't go there but she said you need to check out this youtube thing because they've actually used some of your videos i did use to some put of together yours, these I? you know things or whatever yeah whatever to be faithful to live faithfully for the lord even in the most challenging of circumstances and to hold on to our faith and trust and to know, Lord God, that you will never it. leave us nor forsake us. So, you said the first time, the first time, as of January 9th, it was the first time this channel that just did some unusual things, January 6th, and you got to go check out this channel. And my title, December 29th, was I will never leave you nor forsake you. Peter said the same thing. But how many people can be considered Peter? But the title itself, and then I've done this a lot. 
I've proven that people were talking to me through circumstantial evidence, an overwhelming amount. And then I gave up on trying to convince people that it's true. I'm just showing you what is true, and you either see what I'm showing you or not. It, it doesn't matter one way or another for me. I'm just showing you what I've seen, how I know people talk after four and a half years of... I just knew Richie from Boston was talking trash about me in the videos. I didn't know how I knew, but I just knew. Just knew. And then it's the same thing with everything. But there is some good things that I do take out of out of people that... Because what I'm doing is... <clears throat> look at it at three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago, I don't think anybody was repenting from anything. And... But then after, after you get on God's radar and he starts to point you out and then he relays that to his servants and then we start to catch on how to point things out, then in this case here, there, where it violated the food laws that had been handed down through the Mosaic Law. But you notice he didn't object to the education. He didn't object to learning their language. He didn't object to learning their culture. He didn't even object to having his name changed. Even though I, I'm sure that was a fairly painful sort of a situation. What I'm getting at is Daniel picked his battles. And that's important. Because there are places you can... Here we are, shop right. Same place, a few days ago, I walk in. The manager says, I need to wear a mask. I told him that I'm good. I showed him my medical card. He said, it doesn't matter. Still, you need to wear a mask. I said, I'm not going to. I'm going to continue to walk through the store. Then he proceeded to follow me afterwards. Said he said, I really need to leave the store. He's going to call the cops on me. Now, I just looked up on their own website. And I took a... Customers are still greeted with a smile, but how can you tell when it's behind the mask? I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than that, that what's going on here is a straight up violation of our federal uh, constitutional rights. So it's time to go in here. And just said, said straight for him. No, I don't wear a mask. Oh. Alright, the store policy. If you come in here, you must wear a mask. If you don't wear a mask, we offer alternative means. Go shopping. But you yeah. can't be in here without a mask. But it's our store policy. No, I understand, but it's against my religion. Okay, that's fine. Then you can you can do all the methods of shopping. It's without compromising your faith, picked his battles. And that's important. Because there are places you can compromise without compromising your faith. There are places you cannot compromise without compromising your faith. And you need to walk in the kind of discernment from the Lord to know which is which. If you're going to object to everything that's in front of you, even if it's really not a compromising thing for the Lord, you're going to end up just making enemies. Daniel wisely picked his battles as to what he was going to say. I can't do that. Mask, but it's our store policy. No, I understand, but it's against my religion. Okay, that's fine. Then you can you can do alternate methods of shopping. It's, I'm not doing alternate. Okay, then then I have to ask you to leave. You can ask me to leave, but I don't have to leave. Yeah, if you're not willing to buy by our <laughs> store. Now, when I looked on your website, the store here, the customers, they're not. You can't. Your own manager says you cannot force anybody to wear the wear the mask. No, put it there. You can, no, that's, I don't know what that is. Nope. You're coming here, you wear a mask. You don't wear a mask, you can leave. Warmerson Township. Oh, you come over here. Warmerson Township. It's, it's store policy. Yeah, no matter where we. But it also says that they store cannot. Store policy. Yeah, wrong. They are aren't required to wear the equipment, but are encouraged to do so. Nah. This is your website, right? Here. I don't know what website that is. If you're in here shopping, <clears throat> you wear a mask, or you can use one of our alternative methods of shopping. It's against my religion. That's my, fine. my first amendment right. That's not religion. Does he feel like he's sound friendly? It's a religion to believe that you have to wear it. Uh, I'll push you. 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 I'll push
Yeah. Whatever you can have, I respect that. Yeah. But you already have to, uh, you have a policy. And by enforcing a policy, keeping everybody safe, and that's okay. according to the CDC guidelines that you think. It's, it's your belief that yeah. that's true. Correct. That that's my policy, policy, and I have the right to. Are you the manager? Yes, I'm the studio. Okay. On this, I just tried to show him, but on your actual website, this is Warmerson Township uh, shop right grocery store, right? Uh -huh. All right. It says that they're ramping up the health safe measures of employees during a COVID outbreak. They aren't required to wear the shoes. But are urged to do so. No, we are required. I don't know who put that on. You don't know who put it up? No. no, I don't. We are required. Everyone comes in this building required to wear a mask. All I can tell you is I refuse to wear a mask or not wear a mask. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually leave. I, you can ask me to leave, but you can't make me leave. I will. We're going to pull the cops. Please call the cops. I'll wait right here peacefully. That's an important thing to remember. And you know, as exciting as it must have been for Daniel to actually see the Lord respond, you know, after that 10 days. To see him to, and his friends go before the chief uh, guy and, and, and he goes, yeah, you guys look great. Vegetables and water. Wow, who would have thunk? Yeah. I mean, that would have yeah, been cool. Not, you, know, just, right you, can't, you can't restrict my movement. Ten, the number 10 is a complete amount of time. So whether it's 10 days, 10 years, 10,000 10, years, or three and a half years, it's, it's a complete Time. If, you want to, if you want to be charged with unlawful restraint, that's call the cops. No, that's my policy. I have to leave. I have to leave. He told me to call the cops when he called the cops, and he's telling me kindly, he's asking me kindly to leave, which he ne when he never kindly asked me to leave. I'm to leave. I think leave right now. I'm and he's getting close to me. I respectfully ask you, respectfully, fine, we'll carry out to the cops then. I think that's assault, isn't it? You guys call to the cops and make it fine. We'll carry out to the cops. Is it legal for you or any other employee to block someone's entry to establishment? Ask you to call them to the show. Hey, you're to wear a mask. We have to leave. We want to trespass. How can you be trespassing? When? Okay, there, I'm, I'm gonna is there a law? Is there a law that states that? But you have to follow the federal law. No, that's my. Do you understand that you're breaking the law? Fine. Fine. Sue me. I'm not gonna sue you. This is my policy. If you're not doing something, what do you mean? Why don't you respect the federal law? Why don't you respect the federal law? And you know what? That's why I kept the law in place. So that's you. I'm not having a case because we have a policy. We have a program. Yeah, we have a policy. So I'm looking at us 33 minutes. The next video was two minutes. So basically 35 minutes. Not even an hour's worth of work. In the end, when the judge rules in my favor for a compensation amount, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I did save the police station from getting sued by him locking me up for trespassing because then it would have been uh, illegal restraint and false imprisonment. And it would have been a suit, so I saved them the suit. But Ali and the manager, I was not treated with respect whatsoever. I was definitely singled out. And so I'm only reasonably asking for $200,000 for it. And um, so can you imagine that in the future, when I, when I show the video and the check amount, because I'll just show you the check, that... Can you imagine that? $200,000 for basically an hour's worth of work. On ground, in boots. But all of the time consumed of learning the laws and learning what they cannot can do and, and being able to stand in the face of the enemy and confront them with it. It seems more interesting when I speed it up because uh, I didn't have to worry about what I was going to say in front of the magistrates and the courts and, and everything. Because Christ gave me the spirit. God gave me the spirit to just let it flow. <laughs> so he's going to carry me out to the cops. It's a threat. I think it's a terroristic threat. It's assault. Verbal assault. Threatening. Is there, is there a law that states that? But you have to follow the federal law. Do you understand you're breaking the law? Fine. I'm being looked at. I'm being described as a criminal. He's telling the, you know, officer what I'm what I'm wearing. I'm not going to sue you. This is my policy. If you're not going to respect my policy, what do you mean? Why don't you respect the federal? Why don't you respect the federal? You know what? That's why I kept the whole thing. So that's you. I'm not having a case because we have a policy. We have a program. We have no case with the federal government. Okay. Let's go. Because we have a policy. Okay. I'm glad to hear. I'm protecting my employees. I'm protecting my government. I'm protecting you. Well, you're all you're all protected, right? Because you have your mask on. No, because you have to get out of your mask. But aren't you protecting me from? I'm protecting everybody. I'm protecting everybody. Through my customers, my employees, everybody. You don't, if you can't understand that? No, I, I understand what it is, but there's an infringement of, of people's First no. Amendment right. This is, whatever, whatever the law is the law, okay? This is my separate policy. This is my policy. I put the policy. The owner put the policy. Yeah, well, you can put pickpocket Tuesday because it's your policy, but it's against the law. You can't not make it. It's not against the law. It's, it's not against the law. We have attorneys to back us up. Yeah. We have attorneys that help us put these policies in place. Yeah. That's why we just right. So you got attorneys to back you up. Even if I win 
$100. That means I'm better than all of your attorneys throughout the entire shop rate because I could have given you better advice, which I did for free. I mean, at that time, I did it for free, but things do pay off. And I was refused services because I wouldn't wear a mask. And you have attorneys to back you up, but yet you're getting sued by just little old me who's going to win the case. Cincinnati, you got to beat up on them. You got to beat up on them. You need to come back where you You know about irrevocable licenses, right? You don't want to hear about nothing. Nope. That, 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 all that doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. I understand. I can see that. Nothing matters to you guys. Nope. It's just all about following, following the policy. You to wear a mask. Is, it, is it a law to wear a mask? It's my law. It's your law? Yes. So you made your own law? That's my, that's my own policy. Okay, but you just said you made your own law. That's my own law. That's my own shop right law. Yeah, wow. Like, Where did you make? Are you, are you part of the legislative branch? You, you are in shop right. You are in my property. But it, but you are not... in my property. You follow my policy. Yeah. Otherwise, we have the, we have the law. I, yeah. I, I, know, that, I need to talk to them anyway. Yeah. I appreciate you. I don't have to argue you. with you. I don't have to fight with you. Listen, man. We'll talk to them. The problem is, I'm not arguing with you or fighting with you. You're arguing with me and fighting with no, me. No, because you're disrespecting my policy. You're disrespecting my freedom. No, that's not your freedom. You, it, talk, to, you talk to the president. My First Amendment right is to be able to practice my religion or not. You told that to the cops. I am going to the cops. Like I'm doing what I've been doing my entire life. Listen, we're just coming shop, in. We're practicing freedom. I'm taking my business right here. Okay, you know you're not. No, you're not. If you're not going to respect my policy, I don't need your business. Good. If you're not going to respect my policy, I don't need your business. You should respect the constitutional rights. Listen, this is a policy drop the country. Okay, you don't make up stuff. Yeah, I, yeah who, it's a mandate, right? This, this, this is a mandate. This is a mandate, ain't it? By, by state law, they mandate that you must wear a mask. It's a mandate by the owner, by the company, by our policy. It's a protection of us. Yeah, I understand. No, you don't. Obviously, you don't. But that's your belief. Which is, you have a right to believe that. If you don't respect our belief, okay, you don't have to be there. You don't have to shop around here. That's all it is. Yeah, you sure, respect sure, me, I respect sure. you. That's all it is. If you don't sure, agree with my policy, you don't have to shop here. Simple as that. I don't agree with anybody's policy because you are, these are problem. all violating the law. That's fine. If you try to restrict my movement from moving forward, it's illegal restraint. That's a charge. That's fine. You so is false imprisonment. Go ahead. So is false imprisonment. Go ahead, buddy. Do what you gotta do. I am not doing it. Oh, well. So that will. So we will ever. Your own website. Your own website. Said you, website. said you can't force me to wear a mask. That's not my website. Well, the I guess it's just made up then, right? Like I said. Thank you. The Lord answered this. The Lord responded. But more important to that. Even if it's two years later, it's, it's, it's going to be a respond from that. Especially considering even ACME, they tried to dismiss the case and the people that took on the case said, nah, nah, it's good. He has plenty of a... It was, a, it was an act of harm, they called it. This is one of those sorts of things that causes your faith to grow. I mean, it's exciting to see God work, but ultimately you want to see your faith growing because, there's, like I said before, there's going to be much more life-threatening tests coming down the pike. And so, so, I mean, it's like, how do you know that, Paul? How do you know life-threatening tests are coming down the pike? I mean, I already went through this, and I feel like you're making a comparison because when uh, back, and also this had already taken place, so we're talking over a year ago, a little over a year ago, where, well, the mask ordeal started at the beginning of 2020, and we're at the beginning of 2022, so two years for that, uh, just about. And since it first came about on the 17th, so I'm, I'm not eating the portion of the king's meat. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not complying with, I'll eat my own uh, food. I'll, I'll eat, 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 and his name is Ali. You know how I know? First Amendment right. And that's not a religion, your First Amendment right. Oh, it it's is. my First Amendment right to tell you that my store policy is what you have to fight it's, it's a religion to believe that you have to wear it. Oh, yeah. But you yeah. can't be in here without the mask. But it's our store policy. No, I understand it, but it's against my religion to wear it. Okay, that's fine. Then you can, you can do alternate methods of shopping. It's, I'm not doing all Okay, then, then I have to ask you to leave. You can ask me to leave, but I don't have to leave. Yeah, if you're not going to willing to abide by our <laughs> store. Now, when I looked on your website, this store here, the customers, they're not, you can't, your own manager says you cannot force anybody to wear the, wear the mask. No. Put it there. You no, that's, I don't know what that is. Nope. You come in here, you wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, you can leave. Warminster Township. Ollie, can you come over here? Ollie, can you Warmster come over Township. here? Warminster Township. So, Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Ollie, Ollie. Uh, my God, my God.
Why, why have you forsaken me? Why is it that when I go in a store, I'm getting ready to get locked up for just doing what I've always done my entire life, which is just walk into a grocery store and go buy chocolate milk. Meanwhile, I got this guy showing me his fist. They aren't required to wear the equipment, but are encouraged to do so. And I got, and then this lady walks by, who after he said that they have a policy. We have a policy. We have a program in place. We have no cases of COVID whatsoever. She was told to walk by and put the mask down, in all likelihood, by the ruler of the establishment. And can anybody explain to me what this hand signal is? Here, let me, let me get closer. Does anybody know what type of... I'll slow it down. He looked over. Like, in other words, he's doing that for a spirit. He's doing this for a, a spirit. He doesn't even know I'm recording him at the at the moment, even though it's completely legal uh, to do so because it's a public establishment. But I just love how the, it doesn't matter. The demon, the demon took over and wanted to show me something. Everybody wants to show me something for some reason. Oh, premeditated. What is that? That's, that alone is worth worth the uh, the judgment that I'm asking for. I mean, right, Father? Isn't that... Hey, Dad. My dad. I talked to my dad. His name's God. He's, he's the guy that... He's the spirit that nobody ever seen before. But people try to emulate him as if they are him. So my dad... Uh, hey, Dad. Don't you think that's a fair deal? I went in there... I stuck up for you. I still pray to you three times a day. Symbolism. I didn't stop uh, because they wanted me to do something that, well, it's against my religious beliefs. My, my religious beliefs consist of my ethic and moral, my moral and ethic practices. And what I practice is to comply with God's law and not be forced to do something. So therefore, that's against my religious belief. I don't believe... That we should walk around forced to do something when it's a recommendation from a disease company. It's a disease control place that gives recommendations and says, this is what you ought to do. And when you refuse, this is what happens inside when you deny eating of the king's meat. No, thank you. Uh, I, I've made it clear. I refuse to wear a mask. I won't wear a mask. I never will. Won't do it. Period. Point blank. So you're saying this is the first time you see my videos? And you know, I, I, I thought about it for a second, but I thought, you know, wisdom would say, um, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. In fact, the question I wanted to ask this... Because I know you're not saying that about me. I know there's part, part of you that, ha that doesn't believe, and there's part of you that does believe. Help you to believe the areas that you don't. This person was, why are you going there? Why are you watching this garbage? Because I know you're not calling my channel garbage, but you may be talking about like what you're doing, saying that it's... Why are you watching this channel? I'm just here to get paid. I read. I do two studies a week, Wednesday and Saturday, and it's because I'm committed to. I'm committed to what I agreed to. And 
like what are you teaching why, why are you doing this because i learned it by watching jonathan click why are you exposing your heart to this stuff because some things i'm throwing against the wall and they stick and then i'll get a response from somebody uh, it's a way of communicating because that's what god wants me to do he wants me to be hot or cold he wants me to communicate with people that went against his law and I found out how to do it so I've been trying to master it so I mastered in it serpent 101 because don't you know that that's just going to foster confusion and again confusion will often foster fear and doubt and then unbelief comes from that and H. why would you do that we, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of amazed. You know, we, all my teachings are up on YouTube, but I got to tell you something about YouTube. It's a dangerous place to go. It, it, it really is. I mean, uh, Serpent I hear so many people saying, I was reading yeah. the Bible and then I didn't really know how to understand. I didn't really understand. Passage, so I got on YouTube. This to one passage. See what somebody else thought. And I thought so I went oh, on YouTube man, that's dangerous. to see if other people could interpret I mean, really what is, I didn't understand. There's a lot of wackos. Even They're there's a lot of wackos crazy out there. Off I say a lot of crazy you know, off the that, wall that things are really that have a are long last really the truth and dead on. And so what the hell are you doing, Robin? Will you just freaking stop already? Don't start getting on me. Don't start getting on the the church of Corin, the Corinthians. Right, that's, there it is. Corinthian Ave. It dead ends there by the, the blade spinner, the chopper offer. So I'll go back to the, the other Paul's personality that is talking about the other things. So this is, God has him kind of in school to build his faith up so that it's going to be prepared for dealing with those issues down the road. Notice how God's favor is evident. How far down the road? in the following verses, starting at verse 17. All right. And that's at 7. So you're referring to 17th Street. Whether you're referring to... I mean, you can start from here. You can start from Liberty 1. And make your way down the Jacob's Ladder. at 17th JFK, or you can continue to go straight down to 222 parking lot where that third building's being built. As for these four youths, it says, God gave them learning and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now, so a dream is, what you're saying now is it symbolizes what you're talking about oh, that's a beautiful because in other words interpret this daniel verse because it talks about the favor of the lord and the blessing of the lord but i have to tell you so i would try to part of my brain says no you don't want to say that out loud because then you'll give it away and then the other part of my brain says give it away give them every opportunity to play the deepest tricks imaginable and then still come out on the other side so the trick would be all right all right robin all right a lot of things are similar let's just read this daniel book of daniel i'll give you great detail i hope help you understand the bible even more but then there's like a hint of things that are going to happen down the line the more egregious murderous attempts on your life it's gonna happen uh and we're just beginning so yeah i've been 
I've been, I feel like I've been in Babylon for at least three years. I do feel like that. But there's also a promotion. But there's a promotion behind the scenes as you're being promoted, but there's no physical evidence at all. Nothing financial, nothing literal. It's just getting more and more dreadful and you're just getting tired of it. But you've been promoted. Cheer up, Robin. God, he's such a, he's a Debbie Downer that Robin is, ain't he? Because it's easier for people to say things when, like, to, like the guards at jail, like the security guards, it's the guards in the temple, the temple guards, the Pharisees, Sadducees, the, the top priests, whoever and whatever, the ones that know everything that's going on, it's easier for them to say certain things because. Look, if your life is freed up and you don't have to pay, you don't have to worry about ever paying bills again in your entire life. You know, you're, you just, and whatever age you are, but you're set, man. You just know and it feels good and you can kind of just do what you want. I'm trying to do the same thing, but, but not fall into temptation to not eat of the portion of the king's meat and still be uh, highly respected by those that are in charge. The ones that they hired, not so much, not so much, like the 120 princes and presidences, and not so much would you be liked by them initially. You and I, I have to note here that there are some people who actually believe that verse 17 is a direct result of eating vegetables and drinking only water. I have to, t I'm sorry to announce that. So I go back to when I actually ate vegetables and drank water, and I said, if this is connected to that, then, because I don't, I don't truly know the timeline, but I do know that people will try to play tricks on the timeline. Uh, so to literally do it, what I get out of it is a demon will attack you for doing something because you don't know the timing of it, but they do. So it makes them elevated more, but it doesn't at all because... It's like, yeah, so what? Big deal. You're talking to people, having full-blown conversations with the elders of the temple. And so that would mean that's great. But it doesn't give, it doesn't give the people that know everything already the full, complete upper hand because they have this over on you. Just the simple fact that I'm even talking with you guys is enough. That alone. And then announce that to you today, but it is in fact uh, the case. Uh, announce that to you today, but give that verse 17 is because 17 refers to 17th and JFK, where I've been going to, and that's where the water came up and down. And, and I know that there's supposed to be a trick played, and the people laughing at me like, oh, Robin, but <laughs> well, you just don't get it if you don't get it. To even have this happen is enough in itself. Sometimes Clegg will just say, the Vatican is a snake. Like, that's it. That's all you need to know. But you, need, but you know more, because what I'll do is I'll flood you as a flood of information in order for you to be drained and just give up, because that's what they have tried to do to me surveil you and stalk you and bother you and harass you and, and try to get you to give up. And then, so Paul will tell me that what's to come is a lot more egregious attempts on your life. Really? So what do I, what do I feel? I feel, I speak my mind and I feel both sides of you know, I feel that it's like the, the, here comes the good side, here comes the demonic side, here comes the good side. But, you know, the, your, allegi your allegiance is to someone else. Whoever put you in that position is who you are dedicated to. And so some things are, it's like three and a half years ago, was anybody repenting in my mind? No, I didn't, not three and a half years ago. 
two and a half years ago? Sort of. I started sensing it, but because I came into this not knowing anybody, and I come after people that I feel like have this demonic spirit attached to them, and are and are not telling the truth, and are hiding stuff. So, but you'll but you're saying everything without saying it, and then I'll come in and interpret what you're saying, and that'll be equivalent to channels that are taking clips of your videos, saying things, making it put clips together, making it say things that you didn't mean to say, but you did say because you meant to say it exactly that way by the language, and so you have to stick up for because there's there's a lot of attention now. And people are asking you questions, and you got to pretend that you don't know what I'm doing or talking about. And I understand. I've been going through this. I'm just doing it now with the giants, the giant YouTube channels. That's where we're at now. I did this already with Derek from A Glob of Truth. I already played this role out back in 2018. Lasting impact in people's lives. And we have to be very, car very careful about exposing our heart and mind to that kind of confusing double talk because it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back to, to, to haunt you. Bring it. Bring it. But I like this, Paul, better. It's a direct result of eating vegetables and drinking only water. I have to, t I'm sorry. I mean, not, not this one here, but. To uh, announce that to you today. The beginning part. Because what it does, it, in order to just eat vegetables and drink water, is a, no matter what time it is, I demonstrated it, and I realized, man, I need sugar in my life. <laughs> it is tough to go like that for 10 days, but you would have to get conditioned to doing it. You get it? There's wisdom and prudence in understanding which hills you're going to die on or which uh, a lot of threats here huh? sensing like it doesn't work anymore it used to work in the beginning remember paul i had stephen james to show and come after me he's the top luciferian head gang stalking commando in the united states and he couldn't bring me down so <laughs> doesn't nothing else said is stop already concerns or issues you're going to fall on your sword over you know all right the final note of the chapter said remember i just want to, i just want people to remember my name is robin henry tees today's january 11th 2022 8 54 p.m i started youtube on april 2nd 2017 my very first video and i didn't know anybody now I'm having conversations with people, and it doesn't matter who believes it and who doesn't because the fact remains it's true, and I can constantly go to the person in their next video and pick out what they're talking about and show you the clip or show you a piece of the landscape that they're saying. Some can say it with a demonic spirit trying to get you to whatever. Others say it in a loving, caring way, and they'll correct you if you're wrong. The Jewish people were reading. This is what Jesus was reading 2,000 years ago. He wasn't reading, Elohim et et you know, okay. He wasn't reading in the beginning, God who created the heavens and the earth. He was reading over here. And, and that's why I appreciate Stephen Noon because uh, he's doing research for people in the government in order to fulfill the scripture and put check marks where he can. And if I can help him do that, I'd be glad to do it. Hopefully this helps with whatever it is that you were talking about in this video and what I needed to show you. The darkness of the world against spiritual wickedness in high places. So if we're wrestling against demonic entities that are in some other dimension, what do you think was going on back there in the biblical times over in the book of Judges? I'll tell you, friends, I'm, I'm blown away by it. Now, I forget why did I have Ezekiel over here. Let me just look over. Oh, this was this is another part of the research I'm doing for them there. Um, 